Hi everyone, and we're back with the ABC Murders, uh, or Agatha Christie's, um, the ABC Murders with Hercule Poirot, yay! I know, y'all are all going, God, this shit again! Um, uh, I'm Juliana, and this is me andering. Um, so there is no Zach in this video, but for some reason you guys are only catching me andering now. I don't blame you. Um... It's totally fine. Uh, anyway, let's see if we can wake up dear France. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. We have to do the thing and we have to do the vinegar on his face and yeah. Mes amis, I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. Yeah. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. <laughs> This man is in rather a bad state. Okay. Black eye. Cut lip. Split lip. This man has been fighting and he smells of alcohol. That's not good. Alright, um... Care for a cigarette, monsieur? What's that? Scented cigarettes? No thanks. Bien. I was trying to be friendly, but you are quite right. Let us get down to business. You threatened to kill your wife, and now she is dead. So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. Nothing but empty threats. We didn't get on all that badly. So, if things were going so well with your wife, why did you not leave with her? She was the one that left. Nothing to do with me, sir. Hmm. Do we ask if his wife had a lover or accuse him of ill treating his wife? Mm. Let's accuse him of ill treating his you wife. You can't have treated her very well for her to run away. No, sir, no. I wouldn't say I'd ever laid a finger on her, but it was only normal. She was my wife. Are you often involved in fights? I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna accuse him of fighting. I mean, I could make fun of him, but let's not. Asha, look me in the eye and tell me that you were in a fight. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I wasn't in a fight. You are right. Looking at the state of you, you did not defend yourself. So, someone gave you a good beating. A beating? No way! All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him? Very interesting. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. Classy guy. A legal bet, naturally. Yes, sir. Our dog won. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Ew. Hmm. Asher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he is not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. Let's resume these things. We know the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. 
You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. Woo, reconstruction. Yay. Um, this gives us extra points. I don't know if you've been able to read any of the, uh, things, but yeah. Reconstruct the crimes, uh, course of events by selecting actions that a killer may have executed. Okay, so. The killer enters the shop. We're going to advance, not attack, Mrs. Asher not turns yet. around to greet a customer. We're gonna ask for some asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. He then places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Do, do, do. Yay! Asher we figured has out a this strong one. alibi, and we Hopefully don't have any other suspect. The next one. But what was the point of this crime? She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Yeah. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No. Unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? Hmm. The crime was committed by a man of medium height, with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot, and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What should we do, then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Estings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. Daily Flicker, June the 22nd, 1935. Battle over control of bank system. What will the government do for money? Endover, murder of a tobacconist. Okay. Let's, let's head over and get the mail. Not the first whirling our our mustache. All right. Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the twenty fifth of this month. We're having a crazy mm. time. Best wishes, A, B, C. That's not crazy at all. The next crime will be in Bexhill. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. we can do I guess it's gonna be over here yay let us examine this more closely 
Okay, so Certain I don't know how many in the two letters may have similar defects. I don't know if it, how many of you are actually yes, familiar this with this eye um, is weird. Right. Uh, Let us compare checking. this with the other letter. <sighs> yes. The eye characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. So this is a thing that's been used for a very long time. It's, um... Back when there were typewriters, they checked to see if there were issues with the way it was printing certain letters. Uh, because they'd flip up and, and hit the ribbon and then hit, hit the paper a certain way. And that's what we're looking at. But that can also be a scene on current printers, even like the laser ones, because um, there are certain defects that'll happen um, in printing from the back and forth, not necessarily on letters. That I don't think that really happens anymore. It's now like about the back and forth and, and how that works. So anyway, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. Um, the A's are a little bit odd. Um... Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. Right, let us compare this. That's right, the A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find mm. some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Let's see... Da -da 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 -da. Ah. Hmm. The W is not printed properly. Right. Let us compare this with the. Uh, da, da, da. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Both letters were written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about this case, Hastings. Nothing must be overlooked. Doo -doo -doo. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Um, what's so special about the Andover murders? Nope. All right, so, so we've got to look for someone. Have you found something? With a B. Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chap. I will explain there. Let's see if we got anything else. Uh, no clues. We've got a letter. Uh, we've got uh, a witness, a victim, a witness, a witness, and no suspects. Um. Okay. And, yay, we need to leave the Whitehaven apartments. Oh, joy. Um, sorry, I did that wrong. It's impossible to get through to Scotland Yard. Oh, so, joy. Ooh, there's, there's things, there's clicky things. We're gonna go over here and do a couple of things. Andover, Hampshire, population 31,200 inhabitants. Oh. And I think that's it, so I actually will be uh, leaving. Um, 
the room, which is therefore leaving the apartments, which, hurrah. Okay. It may be time to go to Scotland Yard. So we get in our cab. To Scotland Yard, we please. Go. All right, I'm going to call this good. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Please thumbs up if you like it. If you'd like me to do something else, let me know. Give me a name of something. Um, anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. Anyway, uh, thank you for meandering with me in the ABC murders. Um, we finally solved our first one, and we're moving on to our second. Um, thanks for putting up with me. Anyway, I will see you next time. Have a good one.